Okay, let's just start the video by firstly putting it out there strongly. I hate apartment hunting. Yeah. That's it. Let's just start the video. Hello, Hanji. Actually, I'm going to add to you. Hello, baby. Tell me how have you not figured it out? Okay, so the first flat that we saw, um, no kidding, but we had almost finalized this flat. It was beautiful. It had, it was, two, it was a 2BHK. It had like pretty decent furniture and it had, it had amazing balcony. Honestly, I had like imagined how we could have barbecues in the balcony and how I would decorate it with plants. I mean, it was the first apartment that we saw and I thought like this is it. But we did speak around and the neighbors told us there's a water issue there. I do not know if that's true or not but like we did not find any reasons the neighbors would lie so uh, we took their word for it so now the second apartment had got me very very excited outfit videos but then we thought about it and the house was very broken and it would need a lot of work there. Also, we realized it had a huge gate that me and Devi had to take care if we decided to live here. Also, there was a lot of things that were broken and the washroom was sharing, which was a big no-no for us. had a very beautiful balcony but the issue with the flat was that the structure was very complicated it was actually a 3 BHK but the owner said we could close one door to one room which was actually in the middle kind of in the middle of the space and just forget about it um, also the owner seemed a little nosy and restrictive she wanted to know who comes when and like all those timing restriction and with the sound also um, so yeah, it was pretty disappointing because after this, there was only one property left to see, which was again a disappointment. Uh, we did not like that one, so I haven't even taken much footage from that. But yeah, that's how our first week ended. So we're going for the flat hunting again because last week was a fail and like oh we don't have any other like this is the last week that we can find a flat so yeah me and Divi will be leaving so fingers crossed and we did text a lot of brokers and like I think we have around four or five properties at least to visit we're hoping we'll have more options for now we have like increased our budget i we have you know relaxed on our location preferences we just want a place to stay the next month so let's just hope we get that so yeah let's go. baby are you enjoying the flat hunting process so to me it's good for me it's good for I'm so exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> 
so this particular day we tried to cover sector 41 for 253 and you know places near idct or galeria and we did so see a lot of flats but i could not like shoot all of them so uh, yeah we were looking for high rise societies like that was our main uh, reference but all we were getting were these builder flows which were too isolated too broken you know like we could make it work like this one was pretty but it needed a lot of work and we did not want to spend so much energy on you know like our flat for now and yeah that's the reason uh we were very disappointed and stressed out because independent floors were you know either too broken either too isolated or either very expensive like this one was one bhk for thirty seven thousand. so yeah by this time I was stressing out so much. So on Friday we did all the listing of all the properties that we were interested in and uh, on Saturday we left to see these properties and the properties that were shown most of them people were living there and I'm so sorry I could not like record if I record I would be like recording their life people eating cooking and you know living their life uh, and I did not want to do that so yeah I did not take any footages but um Truth be told, I did not like any of those flats and there were also some very, very, uh, what do you call it, unprofessional brokers who, I don't know, by that time I was so stressed and these brokers behaving the way they were, they were rude, they were not on time, they were like making us wait for absurd amount of time to show us nothing. Anyways, yeah, so when I saw that none of these brokers, none of these properties I actually was liking and I was getting really stressed out, my brother suggested that we should like just roam around the uh, vicinity of the society that I like, actually that we and my friend liked and see for any boards or signs where there is a two let or you know like a uh, flat, avail flat available that sign boards anywhere and you know contact those people and we contacted a lot of them let me tell you a lot of them after so much of apartment hunting me and the we were so stressed and my brother was really hungry and it was so sweet of him like thank you mono if you're watching he had office that day and he was driving us around the city and i mean he just being a good brother and I did feed him well there's a picture all these properties in this area was just way out of our budget there was this one really okay mediocre flat that that the owner was expecting 40,000 for and um, which was absurd we did not want to uh, spend more than you know like 16 or 17k even 16 and 17k is a lot to spend on rent okay my, me and my friend are very very grateful because we are able to afford living here and i'm should not be the one cribbing about rent but still in on honesty if you think about the rent right now in these places it's absurd it's it's really skyrocketing that's when we came across this one signboard and we actually called that person and he did say he had two properties even before we went we made it very clear to him see listen we 30,000 is the max we can go if he has nothing that can give us the like if it's not within that range please don't uh, show us any property because by then we had we were you know tired because we have seen so many properties and you know saying no because it was out of budget then like why to go and even see it so we made it very clear and uh that guy did tell us there is this one property at 33k but the owner might be willing to give you guys a discount because you are girls and you seem to be working in good places so he did give that tip and then he took us to this apartment and we loved the apartment i oh i mean it was a 2 bhk uh, one room had attached washroom balcony and the room was spacious so i decided to take that the rent we thought would be much more for this because the other room does not have attached anything and the room is a little smaller so i will be paying a little bit more but it's totally worth it the flat is at 30k right now and that's how we finally came 
to that apartment we did actually uh, visit it again and again uh, the next day uh, on the sunday and we did talk to the owner and you know discussed and tried to bring it down to 30k because before it was 33 and the owner was really polite she just wanted us to like be nice to her flat and uh, she did like us so um, yeah if you're a girl probably some of the owners would um, you know give you preference so yay us but yeah that's how we our uh, third weekend went and that was after that finally I was able to you know have a peaceful week I was not able to work I was not able to you know do anything in life because I was so stressed out with this flat apartment hunting because I was so stressed about apartment hunting but yeah at last everything Mm, worked out this is my last weekend here and I utilized it shooting this video I edited a video and my next video will be in my new flat so that's exciting um and yeah that's all for today's video I hope you got something out of it and I know if you're watching this video you might be probably going to go for an apartment hunting so yeah, all the best for your journey. I hope you get the flat of your dreams. And yeah, um, with that, I will take your leave. And I'll see you next time. Bye.